here from pickinglesson.com. In this banjo lesson, we're gonna take a look at some bluesy licks that use the blues scale and the arpeggios we find over the three chords in the 12 bar blues. So the G7, the C7, and the D7. So we'll take a look at a couple of variations of the G blues scale, the arpeggios for the three chords, and we'll have a look at a bunch of licks that you would have heard at the beginning of this video. If you head on over to pickinglesson.com, you're gonna find the worksheets for these examples, the blues scales and the arpeggios, uh, the intro that I played, that 12 bar blues lead break, plus we'll break down how to create or what to look for when you're coming up with your own licks. All right, but let's jump into the first part of this lesson now. We're gonna take a look at the G blues scale. The first variation of the G blues scale. One, two, three, four. Okay, so as you can see there, that G blues scale, it's played in just the one position. And we're gonna use that as a foundation for these licks we're gonna learn a little bit later. So before we jump into some of these licks, we're actually gonna have a look at the arpeggio as well for the G7 chord. So the G7 shape you may be familiar with. And turning that into an arpeggio is really straightforward. We're gonna start down the open D string then work our way through the notes that belong to the chord. So the notes that we have are the G, the B, the D, and the F. So the G7 arpeggio, let's have a slow play through nice and close. The G7 arpeggio, one, two, three, Four. All right, the G blue scale and the G7 arpeggio. We're gonna take those two and mix them together. We're gonna have a look at a couple of licks played over the G7 chord. And these are the first two licks that I played at the beginning of that 12 bar blues at the start of the video. So the first lick is pretty much following the blues scale. This is how it sounds. So we'll take a slow play through. So left hand, I'm using the first and the third fingers in the position there of the blues scale. I'm pretty much using my thumb on string four and index finger on string three. And there's a little bit of a bend on string three. So that's the minor third. So the minor third, I'm pulling down a little bit on that string. What I'm doing is teasing that note, teasing that minor third up into the major third, or not quite into the major third, but, but indicating that that's kind of where it wants to go. So that's a really cool sound. And so the major third is in our G7 chord. And I'm playing off that minor third, resolving back to the G there on string four. So nice straightforward little lick, but sounds really cool. Okay, we're gonna have a look at the second lick here and this lick's gonna use more of the G7 arpeggio plus the blue scale in there as well. So we're starting on the root note of the G on string four, hammering on from minor third into major third, that's third and fourth frets. Through the arpeggio, hammer on to the high G, back down the scale. Now I'm gonna use this flat five, repeating that lick. Sliding from fret six to fret five to fret three. Resolving down to the G. So all together sounds like this. It 
again, I'm really trying to focus on those G7 arpeggio notes. Teasing it out with the blues scale notes. So those first two licks, I'll run them one into the next. Cool. So we're using that G blues scale. And we're using the G7 arpeggio. And I'm playing around with those, trying to focus on the arpeggio notes while using the other notes in the scale as passing notes and using that minor sound back into the major sound. That sounds really cool. Okay, so if you head on over to pickinglessons.com, you're gonna find the tab for the preview at the beginning, the 12 bar blues intro that I played. We're gonna find the G blues scale, a variation of that scale. We're gonna have a look at the next video as well. Uh, the arpeggio shapes for C7 and D7, which we'll also take a look at in the second video. And we'll go through and break down the licks that I played through the whole intro in the 12 bar blues over all the chords. And we'll have a chat about what to look for when you're trying to come up with your own licks and what's gonna sound good and why it sounds good. All right, so head on over to pickinglessons.com. I'll see you there.